Hey guys, Paul from Green Dragon Hydroponics. Uh, we're back for part two of building out a grow space. It's late and I haven't had much sleep lately, but uh, we're gonna do our best to, to uh, put this video together for you. So um, we finished up all the painting. We spent time to fill all the cracks in the room, all the holes with uh, wood filler and um, laid down a primer that was mold killing primer by Zinser, um, just in case any of that mildew that was on the wood would come back, um, that should kill it right away. Um, took the time to lay out um, a, a bead of uh, construction glue on the baseline so that everything's sealed. If you can, if you're building out your space um, for your door, this also works really well. It's a door sweep that you can put on the bottom and helps seal up the door. Um, <clears throat> Use flat white paint because it's cheap and it offers about 85% reflectivity. You could go higher end, get up to 95% with Mylar, but it's a little expensive. We're trying to keep this in, in, um, within our budget. So um, next on to electrical. So I want to say first off, I'm not an electrician, um, but I am a, a DIY guy. I really enjoy working on things myself and learning about um, new, you know, any part of building a grow room out. So um, I'm running my own electricity and um, I'm taking the time to make sure that everything's done properly. Um, to start inside the space, we have, we're putting a single outlet for, for light duty um, fans, filters, and probably one T5, four foot T5 fluorescent. Inside the space, like any kitchen or bathroom, we're going to have um, a little bit of moisture, probably from foliar sprays, things like that. So you want to make sure that inside you have a uh, GFCI outlet that has this trigger that um, basically, if there's an irregular circuit, that it will, like through, through water or through metal or through a human, um, that it will trip and won't continue the circuit to start a fire or something worse like that. Um, if you can't replace your outlets inside a grow space, then you can buy one of these to plug right into a normal outlet. It's 20 bucks, Home Depot. Um, these work really well and have the same features. So onto the out outside of the room. We'll check out the um, electricity on the outside. All right, so we're on the outside where we're gonna try to put the bulk of our electrical equipment meaning um, anything that we don't want inside the grow room, um, especially the ballast because they, they give off extra heat. You don't really want that extra heat in the grow space and the electric extra electrical stuff in there, um, which could possibly cause a fire hazard, but not if you do your electric, electrical right. So um, a wired, this is for, I just put a 20 amp, um, circuit in here because I wasn't sure what exactly I'd add in in the future. So I put a 20 amp on its own, on its own breaker. And then these two are going to be for my, um, for my two ballasts. And basically I made them single outlets so that I could put an individual timer on each. Obviously you can't fit two timers on a single outlet. So, um, this will, this is a 30 amp breaker on its own, on its own outlet, which will run two ballasts at um, 10, inch, 10 amps each. So that's 20 amps on a 30 amp breaker. Um, just little uh, little tools that help you do, if you're do, gonna do any of this, first of all, I'd say hire an electrician or find somebody that knows exactly what they're doing. But if you are like me, you wanna do it yourself, then these are two tools that'll definitely help you. Um, this obviously checks for hot wires. It's no contact, so um, you don't actually have to put it into a, into an outlet to find out. See, this one obviously is dead. And then this is your um, this is checks your outlet to make sure you've wired it properly, and it has all the all the different um, uh, possible mistakes here and corrections to make. Um, it'll tell you if you've wired it improperly. So when you plug it in. 
two lights to the right means that you've wired it properly and it's all good to go. And check there. And check there. So um, that's about it for now. Um, next, the next video will be doing our lighting layout and starting with the equipment on the inside and getting everything finished up. And I um, uh, hope you enjoyed watching. And if you like, subscribe to our channel and we'll keep you updated on our Facebook page too. Um, if you have a second, check out our website, greendragonhydro.com. All right, thanks, and uh, we'll see you next time.